Everybody, this is Taj Deshawn, the Vice President of Self-Publishing 30 Days. Excited to be here with you for the This is the Year for Your New Book Conference. Folks, we got some great information to get into today. We're going to be talking about the co-authoring process, what it means to become a co-author for a book project, why you want to become a co-author, uh, why you may want to create a co-author project of your own and get together with other like-minded individuals and have them all contribute to a project. So that being said, as I mentioned, my name is Taj Deshawn. I'm the vice president of Self-Publishing 30 Days. If you're watching this, uh, chances are you've, we've had a conversation at some point or I've introduced myself or maybe we even work together on a project. Uh, in addition to my role at Self-Publishing 30 Days, I'm also the founder of Thrive After Sports. As you can see, the oh, wrong side right behind me. This is the book, the first book, thanks to uh, Mr. Darren Palmer and the team at Self-Publishing 30 Days for helping me write this book. Uh, after I wrote the book is when I came on board with the company. So that just shows you how much I believe in what it is that we're doing here. But all that being said, uh, my program Thrive After Sports helps athletes transition into the next stages of their lives. So if you know someone who's a former athlete, if you are a former athlete or, the, or a coach or a parent of a former athlete, I want to encourage you to visit TajDeshawn.com. Check out the Thrive After Sports podcast. Uh, obviously get a copy of the book and uh, hopefully I can help you in that area as well. But now back to these co-author books, and I'm going to talk to you about a few different things. Also, this, this book here, Athlete Entrepreneur, I think this would be a great way for us to kick off the conversation. So this was the first co-author collaboration book that I had the pleasure of putting together and contributing to. So as you can see, uh, Athlete Entrepreneur, Powerful Stories of Transition from Players to Professionals. And on the cover, we got 20, myself and 20 other athletes turned entrepreneurs. You can see their faces here on the back. This is what a co-author collaboration project looks like. Uh, you might see Dr. Sarah, where's she at? Dr. Sarah, Dr. Sarah Lepe right there, the founder of Rebranded Athlete. And she's also our book production manager at Self Publishing 30 Days. So shout out to you, Dr. Sarah. I don't know if your segment's before mine or after mine. But in any case, I wanted to show you this because this is an actual tangible example. I'm just gonna share my screen so I can show you what it looks like. Hopefully you can see me. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll dive into what it might, what it looks like if you want to actually put a book together. So hopefully you can see my screen here. So these are actually some of the first. Yeah. So if you go on the self publish in 30 days website, these are actually some of the first co-author projects that were produced by the company. We have a uh, footprint of success. Uh, stories of impact from leaders and entrepreneurs. So this is a collection of, of people who came together. Uh, maybe they had previously done books through the self-publishing 30 days platform, or maybe they just reached out, heard about the project and wanted to contribute. So this is obviously for leaders and entrepreneurs. This Visionistas, uh, Women Who Think Outside the Box, a collection of inspirational stories. These are from women who are entrepreneurs, women who are uh, mothers, wives, women who are doing great things in the world. And that book just kind of is their testimony. There's actually a volume two of Visionistas, which it's around here somewhere, but my wife, Jamie, actually wrote a chapter for Visionistas too. And Jamie also has a co-author book called The Sacred Feminine. So let me actually show you some other examples of what a co-author project looks like. Let's go over here. Um, oh, there's Dr. Sarah. Speaking of Dr. Sarah, uh, that's myself and Dr. Sarah at her first book launch for her first book, Pivoting from the Game. Definitely connect with Dr. Sarah and make sure you check that out. But this is what I wanted to show you. This is actually another co-author project. In addition to Athletes Entrepreneur, I'm currently putting, well, depending on when this comes out, uh, currently putting together a book called The Six Figure Athlete, How to Convert Your Skills into Cash. Uh, with all the law, the new rule changes with uh, college sports, we have NIL laws, which is basically where student athletes can get paid for their name, image, and likeness. So the idea behind this book was for current athletes and former athletes to contribute to this book and talk about how they're taking their athletic mindsets and turning it into career opportunities or turning it into a way to make money. So that's what this book is about. Um, this book is actually still in motion. So make sure you reach out to the self-publishing 30 days team, um, info at self-publishing 30 days, if you'd like to contribute a chapter to this one. Let's see, this is Madeline Barlow. This is not a co-author project, but shout out to Madeline. This is another co-author project that was put together by Marcus Austin, a former football player and a friend of mine. In case you haven't noticed, because of my background and working with athletes, a lot of the uh, projects that I help oversee or help put together, they're related to athletes. So now this is not to say that if you 
are thinking about becoming a part of a co-author project or want to create your own. It doesn't have to be related to athletes. It doesn't have to be related to entrepreneurship. It can pretty much be directly related to anything that you want it to be. And we'll talk about that in just a second. I just want to give you some more examples. So like I said, this is Mental Health Warriors uh, by Marcus Austin. And this book is actually in the final stages, <clears throat> excuse me, and this book is actually in the final stages of production. There's a lot of people who are contributing to this. I think they're in the final stages of editing, if I'm not mistaken. This next book, uh, this is not a co-author project, but shout out to Kezia Conyers, Go Beyond. This, uh, my man, Corey Camp. this book is titled Forever Athlete, uh, How to Connect with Your True Identity Daily, a collection of stories from peak performers. So this book is actually in the final stages of production too. We, uh, I believe Corey just got his proof concept, but this is Corey and about, uh, I want to say 16, 17 other athletes who consider themselves forever athletes, meaning they're taking their athletic mindset and transferring it into the business world, into the corporate world. And they're all contributing to Corey's book. Okay, that's that's another example. Brax B, the man himself, Braxton Byerson. This book is called When the Last Whistle Blows. Uh, Extraordinary Stories of Commitment and Discipline. Just a couple more. Trey Lucas, only up from here. Hang your cleats up, but hold on to your dreams. Okay, some more great ideas. Uh, my man, Kenneth Scott, Discovering Your True Potential. Stories and Uncovering the Missing Link Between Athletes and Business. Okay, as I said, you know, a lot of these books are related to athletes. We got my man, Keith Sconier's Breakthrough Mentality, The Right Mindset Sets You Free. Uh, great book there as well. Let's see. Uh, my man, Brian Lavender, Rerouted. Um, what's the subtitle on there? Stories of how feeling lost can ultimately lead you to your purpose. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Okay, you guys get the idea. Oh, Miriam Glass, this is a nonprofit. I want to share this one with you lastly because... Miriam is the founder of Athlete Soul, which is a nonprofit organization that supports athletes. I have the pleasure of coaching for Athlete Soul, but we're going to come back to this because uh, Miriam is actually the founder of a nonprofit, and we're helping her put this book together in order to raise funds for her nonprofit. So I want you guys to keep that in mind because we're going to talk about what it looks like for you to create your own co-author project as we start to wind down. But for right now, let me stop sharing my screen. Okay, for right now, I want to get back into some of the benefits of a co-author project, okay? So I'll start with this. Um, some people refer to co-author projects as anthologies, whatever you want to call it. You know, the best way to think about it, it is a collaboration book. It's a group of people coming together. Each person writes a chapter and it creates an entire book, okay? So you may be thinking to yourself, okay, this sounds great, Taj, but why would I wanna write a co-author book or why would I want to contribute one chapter to a book versus just writing my own book? Now, that's a great question. And of course, it depends on what your purpose is for wanting to contribute to a book or what your purpose is for wanting to become a published author. So this is what I can say. The first thing is, when you think about the fact that a lot of people out there want to write books, but they're just intimidated by the fact that, man, I have to write an entire book by myself. It can be very overwhelming for some people. You know, you might find yourself, you're opening up your laptop and you're saying, okay, I'm going to write a book. And you sit there and you write the, and then you close your laptop and you start doing something else and you get distracted. The book never gets written. It never comes out. And that's unfortunate, right? Now, it doesn't have to be overwhelming to write an entire book. That's why we exist as a company. That's why Self-Publishing 30 Days supports authors with writing and publishing their books. So you can have an entire team behind you. You can stay focused on being creative and we can handle the copyrights, um, get you set up with the distribution, handle the design of the book, the cover, the interior design, the ISBN number, the whole nine. We do it all. We're a one-stop shop for all your publishing needs. But in the event that, that you say, hey, I don't necessarily want to take on the task of writing an entire book by myself. I'd rather get together with other people and find a book that's related to my market and be able to contribute a chapter to that book. So let's get into the benefits. I just gave you an example uh, and I don't have a PowerPoint to show you or anything. I'm just going to be talking to you, speaking from the heart. So uh, I gave you some examples of my books and projects that I'm overseeing. We got Athletes Entrepreneur. We have all the other list of books that I just showed you. Most of them are related to athletes, of course, because these are the people in my network. These are my connections. Now, let's say you are in real estate or let's say you're a lawyer. Um, and maybe there's someone who's getting together and putting a book together about, you know, how we can make policy change in government. Or if someone's a real estate agent talking about how to, you know, get 
uh, top tier clientele and how to sell homes and how to become a top real estate agent in your area. Now, of course, from a business perspective, understanding that there's going to be 20 authors in this book, wouldn't it make sense if I'm a real estate agent for me to write a chapter for this book? That book at that point becomes my business card. So if I go to a networking event, uh, you know, and people are handing out business cards, I can bring some books with me. Or if people are looking for, let's say I'm in Vegas and I'm a real estate agent in Vegas and, you know, someone's looking for an agent and they come across my website and I have a book on there where I contributed to talking about real estate, they're more likely to want to go with me because they're saying, hey, if this person took the time to write a book, even if they just contributed a chapter to this book, they got to be serious. They have to be professional about what they're doing. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been, been able to become a published author and write about this content, right? So I'd say those are really the top two benefits. There are a lot of other benefits I'm going to get into, but those are really your top two in terms of the benefits of becoming a part of a co-author project and contributing a chapter. Like I said, it's your network. Uh, what's the workload? First and foremost, you're not taking on the task of writing an entire book. You're writing one chapter and still becoming a published author. So that's the first thing. The other thing is, it's like I said, establishing credibility and expanding your network, because I'll put it to you like this. This book, I'm going to use Athletes Entrepreneur as an example. This book has myself and 20 other co-authors, okay? So, of course, there are people who are going to buy the book from me, but also the 20 other people in this book are selling the book to their networks as well. So, if someone buys the book from Miles Mensa, if someone buys the book from Dr. Sarah, right, not only do Dr. Sarah and Miles keep the money, 100% because they're this is their book as well. They can sell the book for full price, keep all the profits, but also that book is going into 20 different people's networks. So I have a chapter in there. So whether someone buys the book from me or buys it from someone else, it still benefits me because my social media handles are at the end of my chapter. My website information is at the end of my chapter. And this is across the board. So people who buy the book from me, they get exposure to the 20 other people, the 20 other co-authors who contributed to the book. Now, let's talk business for a second, because some of you guys be, might be like, well, who, who gets the profits and, and how does all this work? I'm glad you asked. So because we're a self-publishing company, when co-author projects come out, number one, we do not take any royalties from book sales. OK, I'm going to repeat that. We do not take any royalties from book sales that are produced by co-authors. OK, the co-authors are able to sell the books as individuals. And we do that because our legal team registers the copyrights to each individual co-author, which means, of course, you have intellectual, you have property, or excuse me, you have ownership over your intellectual property, which is your chapter. OK, that's the first thing. But you also have equal distribution rights, which means that you if the book is twenty dollars, just like this. This book, I sell this for $20 on my website, a book that I wrote by myself. This book, a co-author book with 20 other people, I also sell this for $20 and so do all the other co-authors. So whether someone buys this book or this book for me, I keep the profits from every book sale because I have rights, equal distribution rights over my intellectual property. So when someone buys the Athletes Entrepreneur book for $20, self-publishing 30 days does not take any royalties, even though of course that's my publisher, that those royalties go directly to me, 100% of them. And I don't have to split the profits 20 different ways with the other co-authors because they're all selling the books as individuals too and keeping all the profits. It's just a very straightforward, uh, simple, streamlined way. So you don't have to start splitting money up and be concerned about who's selling what. No, you're part of the book. You can sell the book, okay? Okay, so we talked about benefits from a networking perspective. Let's go back to the workload a little bit more, okay? Now, with all the benefits I just described to you, if you can get the same, the same benefit, excuse me, the same benefit from taking on the task of writing an entire book by yourself, if you can get the same benefit from writing one chapter for a book and contributing to that book, it's kind of a no brainer, um, especially if you're looking just to get your feet wet. You know, maybe you haven't worked with a publishing company before. Maybe you're just thinking, hey, I just want to write one chapter, kind of try it out, get the experience of working with editors. And maybe from that point, I'll write my solo book. But see, I always tell people it's a great way to get your feet wet because a lot of people don't have the experience of having guidance every step of the way from the writing to the publishing to the book launch to the marketing and writing one chapter for a co-author book is a great way for you to do that. So I want to take a quick pause. Uh, I just want to invite you right now. If you are, if you're like, hey, this sounds like a great idea, 
uh, reach out to the self-publishing 30 days team, you know, reach out to me, uh, reach out to info at self-publishing 30 days. I'm sure some of the other presenters have given you plenty of contact info. If you found the link to be able to uh, jump on here, then I'm sure you can find a way to get in, in contact with the team. Because like I said earlier, no matter what industry you're in, no matter what your job is, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a speaker, no matter what type of business or no matter what field you're in, chances are we have a co-author project going on right now in any industry that you could get on board with and contribute a chapter to, okay? Oh, let's talk cost, okay? First things first, when it comes to writing and publishing a book, a professional way, I'm not just talking about slapping a book on Amazon. I always tell people, no disrespect to Amazon. We do put all of our authors' books on Amazon eventually, but there's a lot of strategy that happens in the months leading up to the official launch. I won't get into that right now. I'm sure someone else is covering that topic, but I say all that to say, um, in order for you to get a book done professionally, a professionally done book with writing and editing and copyrights and ISBN number and, and marketing strategy and launch strategy, you're looking at anywhere from five to $15,000, okay? So just keep that number in your mind. It costs about five to 15 grand for you to do a solo book. And of course, the nature of the scope of the project depends on the cost and, and what you want to do. And if you want to put out a quality project where people say, wow, this is an awesome book. Or if you want to cut corners like some people and your book looks like a church pamphlet, hey, that's up to you. Now, of course, me personally and a lot of the people who associate with self-publishing 30 days, uh, they want to invest and because they understand that you get what you pay for. And I wanted to have some quality books done. So I made an investment in myself and it's been paying off tenfold. I went off on a tangent, excuse me. But uh, what I was really saying was, if you're looking at five to 15 grand to do a solo book, you're only paying a fraction of the cost to be a part of a collaboration project. So a book that might've cost you, you know, $5,000, $6,000 for you to produce on your own, you can write a chapter for another book and put in, you know, $1,500 and you're still, you still get all the same benefits, right? So let's do some quick math. Okay. So let's say that I am a real estate investor and I have a coaching program and I want to teach other people how to invest in real estate. So I have two options. Let's say that I want to, I'm thinking about writing a book because I want to put all the information for my coaching program and services and how I can help people and teach them how to flip houses. I want to put that in this book, but frankly, I just don't have the time and I don't feel like I have enough material to be able to write an entire book by myself. But I hear about this book called uh, How to Flip Your House, Advice from Top Real Estate Professionals in the Industry. That was a terrible title. I'm going to let the editing team work on that title. But you hear about the book and you say, okay, I don't really have the time to be able to write the book myself. Uh, what if I just wrote a chapter for this book and when the book comes out, I get to keep all the profits for money I make off of the book. And I'm expanding my network because the book is going into 20 different people's networks. Okay. Something to think about. So let's say I put in $2,000 to write, to be able to contribute and be a published author in this co-author book. And the book is priced at $20. Okay. Quick math. All I would have to sell in order to get my money back is a hundred copies, a hundred dollars or a hundred books times 20 bucks is $2,000. So I put in $2,000 to become part of this book. When the book comes out, the publishing company takes no royalties away. Okay. And I sell 100 copies and I've made my investment back. Now I want you, I want you all watching this to think about some of your networks, some of your friends and family, you could sell a hundred copies of your book, just to friends and family, let alone if you have a great social media following, let alone if you know how to put yourself in position to get the book sold. Now, on top of making the investment back with just 100 copies, think about this. Not only did you make your investment back within a couple of months or so off of selling 100 copies, but now your book has gone into 20 different people's networks. And I keep repeating this because I want to make sure that people are really getting this. Think about the type of people who will be buying the book, first of all, whoever's buying the book is interested in this topic. In this case, we're talking about real estate investors or flipping houses, right? So the people who are buying this want to learn. Now they get to your chapter as a real estate or a house flipper, and they get to the end of your chapter. And now they got your YouTube channel. Maybe you have a podcast, your website, your email address. So they're reading the material, learning from you, but also they have information where they can follow up with you, learn more about your services, absorb your content, the whole nine. It is a living, breathing uh, 
business card that that literally goes into countless people that you never would have had access to if you did not contribute a chapter to the book. So with that being said, um, I think you guys get the point. And once again, I want to encourage you just to reach out. If, if you're like, this sounds great. I'm in this industry. You know, I'm a chef or uh, I'm a teacher or I'm in local government. No matter what industry you're in, there's a book for you. Chances are somebody has come to us with an idea and has a book that they're working on. So once again, if that's you and you have a, a project you want to be a part of, uh, send an email to info at selfpublishing30days.com and just put, you know, I'm interested in being a co-author. I saw I was at the This is the Year for You New Book Conference. I'm interested in being a co-author. Uh, I'm in this industry. Do you have any projects related to this that I can that I can be a part of? And someone from, from our team will help you get pointed in the right direction to make sure that we're connecting you with someone who's putting together a project like this, making sure you have all the details and, and making sure you understand from A to Z what's involved. Oh, this is another thing I left out. Okay. So uh, kind of the process. So co-author projects typically take about five to six months from the time that they're announced, meaning say, saying, hey, this is a project we're putting together. You know, we're putting athletes and entrepreneur together. It's been announced. Uh, we're looking for former athletes to write and contribute to this project. So from that time to the time the book is in people's hands, we're looking at five to six months. Why? Okay. The first month or two is really for enrolling people and seeing who's going to be a good fit. So what happens is the book is announced on social media or just kind of shared, you know, through networks and people reach out. There's only 20 slots available. We, we do a maximum of 20 slots per book because we don't want the book to be ridiculously long. I always say we don't want the book to look like a Harry Potter book or like an encyclopedia to where no one even wants to read it because it's 500 pages. So if you think about it with the word counts that we have and, and kind of the way we structure the book, 20 authors, let's say each chapter is about 10 pages, you're looking at about a 200 page book. And we want to keep it in that spot because we know the times we live in, people have short attention spans and we want to make sure that people actually read the entire book and get to everyone's chapter. Okay. So back to the process, it's announced, uh, people are vetted to see if they're going to be a good fit for the book. Uh, all Everyone's questions are answered before they decide, hey, I want to be a part of this. Then we go into uh, the actual writing of the chapters, of course. That takes another two months. We'd like to give everyone at least two months to be able to write the rough draft. Then they would send their rough draft into our editing team, who from that point will go through, not only for proofreading and grammar, you know, our, our editing team, their job is not to just hit spell check or run your work through Grammarly. Their job is to help you put your best foot forward as a published author. And that takes time. So you send in your rough draft, they read through it, they give you suggestions, not changing anything without your permission, but going through it to help enhance it, whether that's structurally or just suggesting that you paint the picture a little more to keep the reader engaged. The editing team is phenomenal and they're, they're excellent at what they do, but it does take time, of course. Now, after that's all said and done, once the chapters are edited, everyone signs off and say, hey, I'm happy that this book, you know, I'm happy with my chapter. I'm ready for this book to go to print. From that point, the editing team begins doing the interior design. So your chapter has been improved. Then they design the interior of the book, okay? Making sure that the book is just as aesthetically pleasing on the inside as it is on the outside. From that point, copyrights are registered. Uh, the ISBN number is registered with the Library of Congress. And once we're about a month or two out from the book to ready uh, for the book to be officially launched or available for pre-order, uh, our team assists the facilitator, basically the person who has created the concept for the book. Our team will assist with making sure everyone has a place where they can sell the book individually. So if we need to build a landing page for someone so they can sell the book, or you know maybe they need to put it on their website. Of course, a lot of entrepreneurs already have their own websites. You would just list the book for pre-order. At that point, we do an official launch, a pre-order launch, and all the co-authors who contributed to the book begin selling the book and promoting the book and accepting pre-orders. Okay. So that's how the process works. Like I said, there's really three steps. It's the enrollment period. It's, it's vetting to see who's going to be a part of it. It's the writing the chapters and editing the chapters. Then we go into design and launch. So it's those three steps dealing with 20 different human beings, you know, inevitably people will turn in things late. That's going to take, you know, it takes about six months. So just understand that going into it. Now I may have already touched on this already, but uh, I just want to remind you again, if you have, if you'd like to be a part of a project like this, trust me, no matter what industry you're in, uh, make sure you reach out to info at self published in 30 days. So someone can get, can assist you with that. Now, let's say we, you reach out and we don't have 
uh, a book that's being put together in that industry, you could be the person who puts that together. And I have to save that for a separate video because that's a whole separate track. If someone wants to actually create a co-author project, uh, of course, we want to see what, what's it about, what's the market. We do a quick just sit down with you and kind of figure out uh, if this is a good fit, if people would be interested in this, if you already have some people in mind who would like to contribute. From there, we help with the entire launch strategy. So we design the cover for you. Um, we help you announce it to your network. As people start reaching out, our team can assist with phone calls to explain pretty much everything I just explained to you. Representatives from our team can explain that to co-authors who are wanting to contribute to your book. If you have a concept for a book and we put it together and we help you design the cover and announce it, our team will also help you answer questions to anyone who wants to contribute. Okay. From there, of course, you really don't have to do anything except write your chapter. We're helping out with all the other co-authors, editing their chapters. You're not having to track anyone down. Our editors do a great job of saying, hey, all rough drafts are due at this time. Or, you know, please return your edits by this time. So you're not having to, hey, man, where's your chapter? We got to get this book. You don't have to do any of that. We understand everyone's a busy person with a busy life. And we want to make that process as easy as possible for you, whether you're contributing to a book or whether you're the person who's creating the concept for a co-author book. Um, so that's it. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're a facilitator and you have an idea, like I said, reach out. Don't hesitate to reach out. We'll get you situated. If you're a co-author and you want to contribute or see what books we currently have available, um, reach out. I appreciate your time. I know you could be anywhere else in the world right now, but you sat here and uh, listened to me ramble on for about 30 minutes. I uh, hope you got something out of it. Um, I encourage you to watch this. I don't know if this is going to be recorded or if the uh, link, if the whole event or conference is recorded, but uh, make sure you watch it back because there's a few things I said. And, you know, I talk fast, I think fast. So as I was speaking, something might have went over your head or maybe it didn't stick. Or if you have questions about anything, it definitely would help to watch it again. And of course, reach out if, if you could use some support. So with that being said, this is Taj Deshaun signing off. Um, I hope you've been enjoying the conference so far. I hope you enjoy whoever's up after me. And uh, remember, this is the year for your new book. Have a good one, everybody. Take care.